Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Welcome, friends, to a moment of reflection and spirituality, where we will delve into the words of Psalm 32. This psalm, with its profound messages of forgiveness, grace, and trust in God, has been a source of comfort and inspiration for countless people over the centuries. As we explore each verse of this precious scripture, we invite you to open your heart and mind to the timeless lessons it offers. Psalm 32 is a jewel of biblical literature that invites us to reflect on human nature and divine grace. In it, we find words that touch the soul and remind us of the importance of confession, forgiveness, and the search for righteousness. It is a psalm that reminds us that regardless of our mistakes and transgressions, there is a loving God who is willing to forgive us and guide us toward righteousness. In this psalm, the psalmist expresses his gratitude for having his sins forgiven and releasing the happiness of those whose sins have been erased by the Lord. He also reminds us of the importance of considering our own faults and seeking God with a sincere heart. It is a message of hope and encouragement for us all, a reminder that we can find peace and joy through trusting God. Before we delve deeper into the analysis of this psalm, I invite you to subscribe to our channel, where we will continue to explore sacred texts, spiritual meditations and reflections that enrich our spiritual journey. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Now, let's continue our journey with Psalm 32 and discover the precious lessons it has for us. Let's pray Psalm 32 and then our Father Amen. Happy is he whose transgressions are forgiven, his sins are blotted out. Happy is he to whom the Lord does not attribute guilt and in whom there is no hypocrisy. As I remain silent, my bones wore out from groaning so much. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my strength was exhausted as in a time of drought. Then I recognized my sin before you and did not cover up my sins. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore let all the pious pray to thee while they may be found, certainly, when many waters rise, they do not reach them. You are my shelter, you preserve me from distress and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will advise you and take care of you. Do not be like a horse or a donkey, which has no understanding, but needs to be controlled with bridle and reins, otherwise it will not obey. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but the security of the Lord protects those who infuse them. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you who are righteous, I sing for joy, all you who are upright in heart. Lord my God and my Father, I ask that the Lord will bless the lives of all subscribers to the channel in the name of Jesus. May it be a great day for everyone, freeing them from all evil, Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power, honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. As we come to the end of this encounter with Psalm 32, I hope we have found inspiration and reflection in the words of this psalm. This hymn of gratitude, forgiveness and trust in God echoes through the centuries and continues to touch the hearts of those who sincerely explore it. Psalm 32 invites us to deeply examine ourselves, reflect on our own transgressions, and consider the wonderful gift of divine forgiveness. 
He records to us that no matter how deep our sins are, God's love and grace are even deeper than our sins. It is a reminder that even in our darkest hours, we can find comfort in the loving presence of the Creator. The spiritual journey is often characterized by ups and downs, challenges and triumphs. However, Psalm 3-2 assures us that when we recognize our faults, when we seek God with sincerity in repentance, we can find joy and peace. He teaches us that trust in God is the path to true happiness. As we say goodbye to this psalm, I invite you to take away its valuable lessons. That we hope to embrace the importance of confession, forgiveness, and the pursuit of righteousness in our daily lives. May we find hope in the words of this psalm, no matter the challenges we face. And finally, I want to remind all of you that this is just the beginning of our spiritual journey together. I invite you to subscribe to our channel, where we will continue to explore sacred texts, spiritual meditations, and reflections that enrich our souls. Thank you for joining us today, and may the peace and grace of the Lord be with you always.